Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm your host, Scott Ramp. I'm also your host, Noel McVoy, and that was the lovely Asaph Adonai on piano. Asaph, what song was that? That is called Fanfare for the Common Man. Oh, cool. That's the name of the song. Yeah, Memorial Day's coming up, so. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I like well, that. Well, okay. it is Friday, and all I gotta say is, oh, it's about time. GGIF, <laughs> yes, and I'm excited because uh, it's actually a Friday for me. Well, I do have to work tomorrow, but it's actually a Friday. <laughs> well, you know, it's like, because it's we did all those uh, Saturday drop-ins for those kids, I was like, I knew you would miss it, so we were working again Saturday tomorrow night. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I don't miss it, but no, I'm very no, no. excited to film the Hellgate Roller Girls mm -hmm. kick off bout, and actually, we have got Heidi Elwood here, yep. and she's going to be telling us all about that today. Great. Yeah, so she'll be out in a few minutes, but uh, first off, I know that we've got some weather. What's it look yes. like out there, Scott? It is looking um, rainy, so more yeah. even though like last couple days like if you've been outside maybe it rained and you're just I've missed it like every time I've been outside like it's between places and here and there between it, like, rainstorms well yeah I've nice. been between rainstorms I've missed them all and you know when I was outside it's nice beautiful like I had to take off my um, flannel sweater thing so you just keep <laughs> hearing all these horror stories about these rainstorms and you go outside no, and you're like, I, what like, are you guys I, I just about? get the aftermath because I look at my car and it's like huh there's there's raindrops on it <laughs> yeah <laughs> raindrops keep falling on my car <laughs> that's a stupid Adorable. song <laughs> okay so uh, if you take a look at the weather it is currently 47 it's a nice morning um, you uh, the weather it's 50 percent chance of rain and of course you have some chance of thunderstorms tonight but uh, by Saturday you have uh, slight showers going all around but Saturday night it's gonna be uh, partly cloudy sunny it's gonna be sunny but then again it's gonna start with this whole rain thing so it's gonna be rainy the next couple weeks but fire season you, we're still looking forward to that for sure because all it does is just take one dry day in Montana, anywhere, and boom, Spark everything's blazing. Yeah. But with all this rain, it really does delay our fire season. So that's kind of what we can hope for. And um, yeah, we'll see how the summer turns out. Cool. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So yeah, uh, we do have some new programs. And of yes. course, uh, uh, my program that I'm pr producing has been airing on MCAT. It's called oh. Look Before You Speak. And it's an art appreciation um, video where uh, our uh, former curator or former uh, director of the Missoula Art Museum, Steve Glucker, um, hosts his own show here on MCAT. And he talks to uh, local uh, art enthusiasts. He doesn't talk to the artists because he wants to uh, take away, he wants to step away from the trying to sell you art to trying to get you guys to appreciate art. That's great, I love that. Mm -hmm. I've been here watching, well exactly not watching Scott film it, but here helping him set up the studio before each time and I'm excited to see this little clip. <laughs> it's uh, Two Chairs and a Table. That's that's the show, Two Chairs on the Table. We might that's as well great. just change the name to that. Two Chairs and a Table. Yep. I think that's an awesome name. Two chairs. Check out our show, Two Chairs and a Table. <laughs> <laughs> Come to CBS next fall. <laughs> two chairs and a table. Only at 8 p.m. <laughs> it's like they don't they don't hire actors. They just have like two it's chairs. It's literally and a two table. chairs and a table. And They're a lot cheaper and not very yep. high. And of course, uh, this Sunday as well is the premiere of the uh, bus tours. Oh. Um, which is something that. Um, Ron Scholl, our very own Ron Scholl, who goes out and shoots a lot of the uh, community events that are happening, especially some of the city stuff as well. Mm -hmm. And they're going around and it's through the Office of Neighborhoods. And I believe they're, they're checking out some of the parks that were at the uh, near Splash Montana, which a lot of the parks here in Missoula are actually volunteer based to ma maintain a lot of the parks, mm -hmm. which is crazy because I didn't know a lot of that. A lot of times I thought a lot of this stuff is, uh, you know, they have contractors and they contract people to do this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But when they when I found out they have a more volunteer base. I was like, oh, good for you, Missoula. Interesting. Missoula. Interesting, yeah. Thanks. And of course, there's one other program, and that's the premiere of the a Distinguished Provost Lecture Series, a, a forever ongoing series of uh, lectures at the university talking about stuff and things. <laughs> and it's great. <laughs> yep. But um, after this video, we're going to bring out uh, Heidi. Yeah. And um, so stay with us, and we'll be right back after uh, a little tease of what you guys can expect tonight and Sunday on MCAT. On a certain level, you could make that argument with his painting, perhaps, but mm -hmm. I think what the book gets at is this evolution of creativity over his life. Right. And that, um, you know, this in some ways was very organic from the beginning, that his, that his uh, perspective about the world um, started very, very early. Right. Well, candidly, I when I saw this as a book idea, Part of it was that I fell into that trap of, of, 
of believing because I didn't have the past context. Bill is Bill was not the best at talking up his own successes. And when these three preconditions are met, selection for big weapons becomes so strong that it eclipses any costs associated with these structures. Nothing else matters. The payoffs for big weapons trumps all other forces of selection acting on these animals, launching their populations onto trajectories of explosive weapon evolution. Uh, I'm John Wilkins. I've represented Lord Four for the last 10 years on city council, and I'm glad to have John Davari helping me out, helping us out. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Little Lake fields down here. You know, they were all built, and they're all maintained by volunteers. Wow. All this field here. And when people from out of town come, they always say, oh, well, you got the best looking fields they are. <laughs> and I helped with some of these fields myself, so I know that uh, what Park and Rec does down here is mow the lawn for us. And we appreciate that much. Hey, we're here with Heidi Elwood, and she's here to talk about the uh, the premiere of the Hellgate Roller Girls season with about this weekend. So please tell us a little more. Yes, the Hellgate Roller Girls are having their opening bout this Saturday. Um, the doors for the juniors open at 6, or the game starts at 6. Doors will open a little bit before. The adults play at 7.30. We're hosting the Bavarian... Sorry, I have to check. Bavarian <laughs> Barbarians from Kimberly, British Columbia. So they're wow. traveling a really long ways to come to Missoula to play with us, and um, it should be a really good bout. Yeah, cool. and I remember that uh, a couple years back, uh, the uh, Canadians from British Columbia did come yes. down, and they destroyed us. Sometimes that happens. I have no idea what's going to happen, so I'll have to come and check it out and see who wins. But um, they come a long ways. They bring a great attitude. Mm -hmm. They're just a lot of fun to play, and they're just great sports. That's and awesome. Sports. And so has your team um, increased in the past year, or have you guys decreased? We've been a pretty stable the past Good. year. Um, Good. So. Yes. Oh, so that tell us, what, is it, what does it take to yeah. be a Hellgate Roller Girl? Well, um, it, it's a long process actually. Everybody has their own journey. You start out, if you have skating skills, you start out a little bit ahead of the edge, uh, or at the group. Um, you have to test up to the different levels. Team mm -hmm. is the final level, so you have to pass skills. You also have to become a volunteer with the league. You join the league, and you have to have so many hours every month of participating and doing the various jobs that run the league because we're a skater run league. Mm -hmm. And the nice yeah. thing about Hellgate Roller Girls is that you guys are a nonprofit, and yeah. here at MCAT, That's we right. love our nonprofits. <laughs> we sure do. <laughs> and we are uh, going to be uh, there also filming it. Yes, that's so awesome. We're really excited to have MCAT back yeah. and filming us. And it'll be live, and then I understand we also get to see it again on a replay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that is always a good time, too, to, to come back. For the girls, especially, we can get to watch our game and talk about it. And yeah. I've been pretty good about like trying to post it online like after the bout, mm -hmm. so it, yeah. hopefully it'll be on that night or Sunday or sometime. It's yeah. early Sunday morning. Yeah. It's a great collaboration. Something else that's happening in the league is for a couple years now, we've been looking for a permanent space. We'd like to be able to bout in our own venue. Mm -hmm. So we're still looking for that. So if anyone has any questions or any ideas for us or would like to partner with us, um, you can get a hold of us through the web page. Awesome. Right. And what is your web page? It is hellgaterollergirls.org. <laughs> <laughs> I just Google Hellgate Roller Girls and it comes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. We yeah. also have a Facebook page great. too. And then so if people want to join, is that how they should get involved with you and in touch with you guys? That is a great place to start. We have drop-in derby for new girls. They can come and men. We have men now skating with us. Our, ne our bout next week we'll come back to that is um, a co-ed bout. But um, check out the web page. It'll tell you who to get a hold of, how to join, and things like that. Our, your first two are free. Mm. So you get a chance to come. We have some loaner gear so you can try it out without making a big financial commitment. Nice. nice. So I, next week yes. I said, men, we're going to have a co-ed bout. And that cool. is the first time here in Missoula. It's really fun to watch the men and women skate together. It's a different <laughs> kind of a game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it just I'm is. Curious. The men play more with their shoulders. The women play more with their hips. Mm -hmm. And um, it'll just be a really good one. And the, uh, uh, it's the Coded. 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 Yes. Nice. So, <laughs> are there any like specific <laughs> guidelines you've given the men and women since they're playing together? Like, it's the same set of rules. Okay, yeah. So, we just sure all sense. follow that. I think there'll be a mix. We'll probably have an agreement of how many men and how many women yeah. out on the 
floor at the same time for the team. And how many men do you guys have? Um, we're going to have four, I think, skating wow. with us. Four of our, our skaters. Brave guys. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Not to go out there without those women. <laughs> yep. If I were a man, I'd be very intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's actually a lot of fun to, to get out there and, and, and knock them down as well. Yes. And, um, and, good and be a, a force on the track. Yeah, it's awesome. And I, one thing I love about uh, roller skating and like roller girls is they're such like powerful women. Every time I see them, like every time I see them roller skating up Higgins, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. girl. And they have yeah. certain, and they have ridiculous names too. I just oh, love the I names. love it. Yeah, we do yeah. hardcore do. names, skating all around. Yeah, yeah, and it's a lot of fun. And that's part of the I think the fun of it and having those nicknames. And it's part of being the league and yeah. and the camaraderie. Yeah, we have a lot yeah. of really great camaraderie. Yeah, and it's a good team and a good family. Oh, that's um, awesome. Do you guys ha hold any like summer programs for a lot of the youths? And let's talk about some of your youth programs for. Well, we have the Hellions, and it is it runs year round. Okay. And similar to the league, um, you can go on the page and look at what's up there. Um, they follow the same rules we do. And it's a Wufteda League Women's Flat Track Derby Association, and so that's uh, we're not a sanctioned league at this point. We are working on that. It's fine. Um, your league, but, <laughs> yeah. league. but th those are the rules we follow, and um, that's where we're at. Right. Cool. Yeah. Is well, it, so one more time, just uh, uh, pitch you guys' events. Sure. Yeah. So, tom <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow night is our opener bout with the Bavarian. <laughs> Sorry, the Bavarian. The Barbarians. That is a hard one to say. It's a tongue twister. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, um, doors open just before 6, juniors at 6, adults at 730. Ten dollar admission, twelve and under are free. So it's a great family event that way. Great. Yep. So if you guys are headed down Russell and you hear a bunch of yelling and a lot of fun, go <laughs> check it out. Yeah. We'll be at the fair. Check it out. <laughs> you can't miss it. Cool. So thank uh, you very much. Thank you for having yeah. me. Yeah. We'll be right back after this, you guys. Today for Friday, we're starting at 9.30 a.m. over at the YMCA for the Family Fun Time. This is for children and parents. Children get to relax and, no, children get to have fun and run around and parents get to relax and hang out on some comfy chairs and chill and chat. Yeah, drink some coffee. Over at the Public Library, they've got Tiny Tales. This is uh, for their, this is for the little ones, ages birth through three years. They sing songs, uh, learn finger plays, nursery rhymes, and hear stories. And the family story time is at 10.30, and I think that this is for a little bit of the older crowd. Uh, it's a theme story time with a dragon rug, which may include songs and an art activity, but there's no age limit to it. Over at Roots Acro Sports Center, they've got a preschool playgroup starting at 11. This is for ages walking to five years. They set up different activities and stations around the gym, and parents and children get to rotate and choose what they want to do. And then over at Spectrum Discovery Area, uh, their, DN their discovery bunch is DNA Extraction, and their brain lab is Unreal Zombie Brains. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that was uh, anti-climactic. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so then we have got some rock painting over at the Children's Museum of Missoula at 11. And then uh, our homeboy, Rob P., Yay. over at the Public Library at noon. Yep, doing his watercolor thing. So it's ages uh, 18 and up. And uh, for all of you who don't know about Rob P, he is in the witness protection. So you can talk about all the people that he's um, taken out when he was in the FBI. So, yeah. and then you know, do some finger painting and all this sort of yeah, great stuff. Yeah, finger painting is open to those ages, eighteen <laughs> and up, because his stories are really graphic. So yeah. you gotta be eighteen. And it's like you know, you see he's drawing. It's like, what are you drawing? And then he crushes it before it. And it's, <laughs> it's a beautiful depiction of gore. Yes, nothing. I'm Rob P. I'm the witness protection. Yeah. So, he'll, he's great at watercolor. Yep. So you can go down there and hear his stories and also uh, <laughs> have him teach you painting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, over also at the public library at noon is yarns it's for those knitters and crocheters to get together and gossip and craft and have some crafty fun. Uh, at 3.30 at the public library, we're spending most of our day at the library today, is a teen writers group, it starts at 3.30, and it's a teen that needs some inspiration or feedback. And then there's spider feeding at the but Missoula Butterfly House and Insectarium at 4. They're feeding Rosie the Chilean Rosehair Tarantula. <clears throat> and then we've got music for this evening. There's wine tasting live music by the workers at uh, Ten Spoon Vineyard and Winery at 4. At uh, the Barn Movement Studio is Ula at 4.30. Traditional Irish music at the Union Club at 6. Tom Catmull is at the Highlander Tap Room also at 6. Uh, and then Nathaniel Ratliff and the Night Sweats will be at the Woman Theater at 8. <laughs> you had me at Night Sweats. I agree. I was like, what is that? I, you, now you're going to have to go check it out and find out what all the Night Sweats are all about. Yeah, and how sweaty they really get tonight. <laughs> <laughs> or how you will be after yeah. the concert. It's just like, oh, I it's so sweaty. Uh, you'll be like, I shouldn't have went to that. <laughs> the Night Sweats. But then you realize, it's like, if you, if you don't have night sweats then you didn't do it right <laughs> <laughs> it's very true yeah. i agree scott yeah. i don't even know what i'm talking about <laughs> <I don't. anymore>. dissolve <laughs> it's fun <laughs> okay okay and then over at monks there's a rap show uh <laughs> cut calhoun with whitney payton and kyle collins they're all rappers and that starts an end yeah one of those rap shows at monks <laughs> <laughs> but monks is known for the rapping um Shows terrible atmosphere <laughs> and rap shows. No, wait, wait, I was just like they're known for their uh, rap and shows. Rap <laughs> and shows. <laughs> Monks is just like it just it's got a weird atmosphere. It's it's, a weird uh, atmosphere. it's it's just trying to find itself and like like any place in Missoula, it's like the perfect bar for Missoulians who are just trying to find themselves. And, you know, like rather than just like sit on the mountain and stare at the M all day. And like you know, you can go to monks and like just, just find, yourself. find yourself. And if you can't find yourself there, because they really haven't found themselves either. You can go across the street to the Badlander, where they totally know themselves. You can have like a house party, which is the unofficial after party of some kind of concert that happened in Missoula. <laughs> <laughs> like monks. Like monks. Yeah. <laughs> I know we're on a tangent. Neither of us really know what we're talking about anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You can almost say that we hate monks or we make fun of monks constantly. It's true. Where's that voice coming from? Me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, over at the Union Club, Joan Zen is tonight at 9.30. And then at the Sunrise Saloon, Highway 93 is playing at 9.30. Uh, and then over the top at Lounge, Magpies, VTO, Mass FM, and Impossible Girls would be playing at 10. And those bands always usually play at the VFW, so it looks like the top at Lounge is trying to attract some punks. Yeah! But that's what's going on in your community on Friday. We're switching gears now. We're going to Musical Notes with ASAP Out and I. Before we start, I think you might find this interesting. Pastor Chuck Swindoll said this quote, Life by the yard is hard. Life by the inch is a cinch. Take it easy, one step at a time. Isn't that cool? Nice. I like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to start this segment with that little quote there. I love that. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway... In 1976, our guest, which we see on the screen, she coined the popular catchphrase, kiss my grits. <laughs> that phrase made her famous in 1976. And it became part of the American vocabulary at that time. Everybody was saying that phrase. Our guest is Polly Dean Holiday, known to the world as Polly Holiday. 
Polly Holiday, there she is. We'll get to that shot in a moment. Polly Holiday is an American actress, stage and television in film, and she's best known for playing a character named Florence Jean Flo Castleberry in the 1970s sitcom called Alice. And from there, her character was so popular with Kiss My Grits that she went on to have her own for a sitcom called Flo based on her character. And there she is in the diner here. This is um, where her character works. See, basically, the name of the show was called Alice that she was on, and it ran on CBS from 1976 to 1985. And the synopsis of the show, um, Alice, her husband died in a trucking accident at the beginning of the series. And so she was an unemployed, so she, just, she decides to go to Los Angeles from New Jersey to pursue a singing career, but her car broke down in Phoenix, and she wound up taking that job in the uh, diner. Mm. And that's how the series started, and then she became a big hit. Well, and then Flo here became an even bigger hit than Alice did, mm. even though Alice was the star and the one who was pursuing the career. And she worked at Flo's, um, Mel's Diner. Now, since those years, and since her um, popularity with Flo, she went on to star in a movie called All the President's Men with Robert Redford and Dustin Hoffman. She was in Mrs. Doubtfire, and there she is. That's the entire cast. Now, this actress on the far right, we just lost her this week. Her name was, um, let's see if I can find her name, Beth Howland was her name. She played the ditzy waitress. And the one on second to the right, that's Linda Lavin. She was the star of the program who played Alice. And our chef, that's Vic Tabak. You may recognize him from Star Trek. He played the gangster on Star Trek. <laughs> and of course, um, Philip McEwen, who played the son. He's the brother of Nancy McEwen, who was on Facts of Life. And finally, again, our guest. So. Anyway, after Mrs. Doubtfire, she went on to do a lot of other movies. She did the remake of The Parent Trap, 1998. And the original one was with Hallie Mills. I don't know if you ever saw that, but that was very popular. So when they did the remake, that was just as equally popular. And finally, she also appeared in The Golden Girls. And she was, she was in Home Improvement playing Jill Taylor's mom. Uh, you remember that? Yes, I That do. was her. And finally, also in 2000, she was inducted into the Alabama Stage and Screen Hall of Fame because she's from Alabama. That's where she was born. So our guest will be 80 pretty soon, but she left the world some wonderful characters, wonderful character roles and pictures in film, but she'll always be remembered for playing Sassy Flo on Alice. And that's how I'm going to end this. Nice. Thank you very much, Asa. Sure. <laughs> And that was Musical Notes with ASAP. We'll be right back, right after this nice little PSA for the weekend. No matter what you're planning, if you plan to drink, plan to have a friend get you home. Get ride home ideas and tools at plantolive.mt.gov. Birthdays come and go. All right. Hey guys, we are back. Yes, What's we are up? back. How's and it going, so everybody? I've got uh, the rest of the events for your weekend. So we're dissolving now. And uh, so this is what's going on uh, for Saturday. And I've got some stuff for Sunday too, some music for Sunday night. So uh, there is the Missoula Farmer's Market is at the Red X's at 8. Clark Fork Market is at Karis Park at 8. And then the Missoula People's Market is on Pine Street, across the street, next to the Thomas Mar Bar, starting at 9. And these all last until about 1 or 2. Yep. Come on, people now. Yeah. Go people. to market. <laughs> people market. Uh, over at the Confidence Stitch, they're having a Strata Art Quilt class that starts at 10 a.m. So a Strata Art Quilt is a simply piece long narrow wall hanging, usually using only short strips. So they're going to teach you how to cut that out and how to sew that and how to make it look beautiful. So they're going to, in the class, they'll complete the top. It'll be 8 inches to 13 inches wide and 18 inches to 14 inches long, depending on your design. Hmm. Uh, so so 
call 540-4068. Over at Spectrum Discovery Area, their uh, Discovery Bench is Van de Graaff Generator and their Brain Lab is Zanny Optics. Wow. Uh, over at Rizakra Sports Center, they've got a trampoline jam. It's 11.30. It's a structured drop-in class that focuses on front and back flip progressions. And um, it starts from 11, it starts at 11.30 and it's only $8 to drop in. Uh, over at the Missoula Butterfly House and Insectarium at noon, they're talking about how long butterflies live. So butterflies only live for two uh, live for two weeks as adults, um, and so they're going to be discussing that and it'll give their guests a better understanding of the world of arthropods and, and animals. Yeah. This event is kind of cool. So over at uh, the Garden of 1000 Buddhas over in Our Lee, they're having a weekly garden tours and meditation teaching. So that starts at one. Um, so it goes on all summer long until October 1st. And so they'll have a tour of the garden at one and then they'll have a meditation at two. And it's $10 suggested donation, but if you don't have any money, they won't turn you away. Over in Ten Spoon Vineyard and Winery, they've got a wine tasting live music by Andre Floyd at four. Uh, and then Dan Dubik is going to be in the Highlander Tap Room at 6. And then, as we just heard from Heidi, we've got our Hellgate Roller Girls bout the juniors and the adults Ooh. starting at 6 o'clock tomorrow. Whoop, whoop. Uh, over in the Montana Distillery, John Floridas and Ed Stalling will be playing music at 6. And then at the Wilma Theater at 8 will be an evening with Yola Tango. Absolutely, with Chris Moon will be at the Badlander at 9. Gorgeous Franks will be at the Union Club at 9.30. And Country Boogie Boys will be at the Sunrise soon, also at 9.30. Um, and then I've got some music going on on Sunday since everything was kind of short for Friday and Saturday. So Sunday, starting at 6 at the Wilma Theater, is Abney Park with Marshall Catch and 20 Grand. Uh, it looks like it's rock music and funk. Uh, and then at, over at Imagination Brewing Company, they're going to have Sunday Night Jazz. There's also going to be Jazz Martini Night at the Badlander at 9. And then at the Palace, they're going to be having La Witch, Tiny Knives, and The Captain playing music at 9. So that's what's going on in your community. Check out MissoulaEvents.net, University of Montana website, uh, The Independent and The Missoulian for more events. Yes, as it is Friday, and every Friday we do uh, the flagship Friday video of the week. They are starting to dwindle down, people, so I say we probably have about a couple more weeks left of videos. Of course, there's a couple of videos from Flagship Friday I will not show because they are unwatchable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, there's no like nice way of saying this. There's yeah. Some of them are just like, huh, cool. What were you trying to get there, kids? Thanks, kids. <laughs> Anyways, I blame myself for that though. It's all my fault. Yes. Yeah. It's always my fault. All right. So, um, without further ado, here's your flagship Friday video of the week, uh, titled FGI. <laughs> which means that somebody was sitting in it. And this chair is also pointing that way, which means somebody walked that direction after they knocked the chair over. And look over here. There's a pair of scissors that are open, which means that somebody was doing arts and crafts here. Door injuries in, in the USA are increasing rapidly by the years. It's becoming a tremendous issue. We must stop. <laughs> I've been expecting you. Arts and crafts. I'll do this trail for you. Never! You do know what you're looking for, right? Um. He'll never make it. No one makes it out alive. It's a map!
The map leads this way. Ends right here. Looks like it connects to my map. Crafts, scissors, falling down chair. There's only one thing that this could mean. That was really funny. <laughs> uh, we're get out of, we laughed pretty hard about that portal. The that portal. was great. Yeah, that the was hilarious. Scene. Nice. Aww. Aww. Those kids, it's really fun and rewarding to work with children. It really is. It is. Even, and you yeah. can have your kids sign up for our summer camps. Yeah. Our zombie camp is full. Our first animation camp is full, but our second one isn't. From July 18th through the 23rd? 18, 19, 20. 21, 22. So 22. 22nd, 18th through the 22nd, which is uh, the second to the last uh, week in um, July, is our secondary stop animation um, camp. Yes. So kids get to do some stop animation stuff. I'll show you a whole bunch of videos from last year's summer camps. Uh, and, and of course, uh, we have... Uh, a wildlife camp that we're still looking for people. There's not that many people in the yeah. wildlife camp. Run. So that'll be the end of June. That'll uh, be last week of June. So sign your kids up. We want them. Yep. It's only a month away. And um, I know you got, parents are going to be looking for um, something to put your kids in. And this is for age um, 9 to 13. So we still have about 8 or 9 spots available yeah. in these two camps. But every other camp is full. Yeah. So don't. So try to sign up because just the other day someone signed up for the zombie camp and I was like I don't think so yeah mm -mm -mm. it's full it's full but what about uh, one of our other amazing camps? wonderful camps uh, the wildlife zombie making camp <laughs> Wild, wildlife stop the zombie animation camp wildlife stop the zombie animation camp yeah that's like a, a cornucopia of all our stuff under the pavilion under the pavilion it's like a pavilion of all of our things it's a pavilion of everything pavilion of camps it's a pavilion that encompasses summer camps <laughs> it's nice and shady but still open and nice and breezy yeah so keep it sleazy Missoula for wake up Missoula I'm Scott Ramp I'm Noel McAvoy here's Asaph Adonai and we'll see you all on Monday yes have a great weekend.